Are you fed up with working diligently for your money only to see it increase so slowly in your savings account? What if there is a method to make your money work for you without additional effort? Compounding interest is what it's called. And in this video, I'll show you how it can help you increase your money exponentially over time. Prepare to be stunned by the power of compounding interest. It may change your perspective on money. Albert Einstein popularly referred to compounding interest as the world's eighth wonder. He said that those who understand it earn it, and those who don't pay it. As a result, it is critical to comprehend what the compound interest is, how it works, and how to apply it in your daily life. Compounding is reinvesting an asset's earnings, whether from financial gains or interest, to produce extra profits over time. This exponential development happens because the investment generates revenues from its original principal and the accumulated earnings from previous times. Plus, compounding differs from linear growth in that only the principal gets interest each time. As a result, every year that the money is in your account, you make interest on the interest earned the prior year. This means that not only are your assets increased over time, but they are growing at a faster pace as well. Interest rates determine the cost of borrowing money. You receive interest if you are the participant who lends the money. When you deposit money in your bank account, you are effectively lending money to the bank, and you will earn interest on the amounts you deposit. Ultimately, compound interest is the process of earning interest not only on the principal amount invested, but also on the interest earned over time. Simply put, your investment generates earnings, which generate another earnings, and so on. Over time, this compounding effect can turn a small investment into a substantial sum. Assume you put $1,000 in a savings account with a 10% annual interest rate. You would earn $100 in interest at the end of the first year. If you leave the interest in the account and do not withdraw it, you will also begin to earn interest. So, in the second year, you would earn 10% interest not only on your initial $1,000, but also on the $100 interest you made the previous year. This means you'd earn $110 in interest the following year. The same would occur in the third year, and so on. To put it simply, here are the differences between simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest. Simple interest is calculated solely on the loan or investment's principal amount. It is a linear calculation in which the interest earned or owed is expressed as a fixed percentage of the original principal amount. For example, if you invest $1,000, and earn 10% annual simple interest, you will earn $100 yearly. You would have made $3,000 in interest after 30 years, and your investment would be worth $4,000. $1,000 plus $3,000. Compound interest. On the other hand, the interest rate is calculated using compound interest not only on the initial principal amount, but also in any interest earned in previous periods. If you invest $1,000 with a 10% annual return, and leave it that way for 30 years, compound interest will grow your investment significantly. Your investment would be worth $17,449 after 30 years. $1,000 initial investment plus $16,449 in interest earned. Your investment would be worth over 17 times the initial investment amount. How is that so? Here's how your investment would grow over the next 30 years, assuming a 10% annual return and compounding every year. After the first year, your investment would be worth $1,100. $1,000 initial investment plus $100 interest earned. After the second year, your investment would be worth $1,210. $1,100 balance from year one and $110 balance in interest earned in year two. After the third year, your investment would be worth $1,331. $1,210 balance from year two plus $121 in interest earned in year three. After the fourth year, your investment would be worth $1,464. $1,331 balance from the year three, plus $133 in interest earned in year four. After the fifth year, your investment would be worth $1,610. $1,464 balance from year four, plus $146 in interest earned in year five. After the 10th year, your investment would be worth $2,593. $1,000 initial investment plus $2,593 in interest earned over 10 years. After the 20th year, your investment would be worth $6,727. $1,000 initial investment 
plus $5,727 in interest earned over 20 years. After the 30th year, your investment would be worth $17,449. $1,000 initial investment, plus $16,449 in interest earned over 30 years. As you can see, despite your initial $1,000 investment, compound interest allows your investment to grow significantly over time. After 30 years, your investment would be worth over 17 times the initial investment amounts. This is the power of compounding interest over a long period. Compound interest allows your money to grow faster than simple interest because you earn returns on both the money you invest and the returns at the end of each compounding period. This means you won't need to save as much money to meet your financial goals. Here are several benefits of compounding interest. Faster growth. Because you earn returns on the money you invest and returns at the end of each compounding period, compound interest allows your money to grow faster than simple interest. More savings. You don't have to save as much money to meet your financial goals if you earn interest on your interest. Long-term financial planning. Compound interest is an excellent tool for long-term financial planning because it can assist you in meeting your financial goals over time. Mitigates wealth eroding factors. Compound interest can help mitigate wealth eroding factors such as inflation and purchasing power declines, allowing you to keep the value of your money over time. Flexibility. Compound interest investment accounts come in various forms, giving you flexibility in investing and growing your money. Compound interest is a powerful tool that can help you accumulate wealth and achieve your financial goals over time. The earlier you begin investing, the more money you can earn through compound interest. Compounding interest has helped many famous investors and entrepreneurs amass wealth. With a net worth of more than $100 billion, Warren Buffett is one of the world's wealthiest people. Buffett is regarded as one of the most successful investors ever, having amassed much of his fortune through wise investments and a methodical approach to compounding interest. Buffett is well known for his long-term investment strategies and ability to spot undervalued companies with high growth potential. Buffett has achieved incredible financial success and has become one of the most respected figures in finance by reinvesting his profits and consistently compounding his returns over time. Another famous example is Ray Dalio, the founder of Bridgewater Associates, one of the world's most significant hedge funds. He has amassed a net worth of more than $20 billion through his investing and compounding interest expertise. Dalio is known for his principles-based investing approach, which includes a thorough understanding of the economic and political landscape and the psychological biases that can influence investment decisions. Dalio has achieved incredible financial success by leveraging the power of compounding interest and intelligent investment strategies. These few well-known individuals have amassed a fortune through compounding interest, The key takeaway is that regardless of background or financial circumstances, everyone may leverage the power of compounding interest to generate wealth over time. How can you make compound interest work for you? Well, the first step is to start early. Time is your company in compounding interest. Starting early is one of the most important things you can do to make compound interest work. The more time your money has to grow and compound, the more significant the impact on your long-term wealth. Even if you can only afford a small amount of money to invest each month, beginning as soon as possible is very important. By starting early and continually reinvesting your earnings, you may take advantage of the power of compounding and create wealth over time. The second step is to be consistent. It would be best if you were consistent for compound interest to work for you. You give your money the time it needs to compound and grow by investing a set amount each month and resisting the urge to withdraw or sell your investments. This entails sticking to your investment strategy and refraining from making rash decisions based on short-term market fluctuations. Over time, the power of compounding will benefit your investments, and you will see the results of your consistent efforts in the form of long-term wealth accumulation. The third step is to choose a suitable investment. To make compound interest work for you, select an investment that pays a higher interest rate than your savings account while considering the risks involved. This necessitates striking a balance between risk and reward corresponding to your investment objectives, time horizon, and risk tolerance. Diversifying investments across asset classes can assist in reducing risk while increasing possible dividends. It is also critical to consider the fees associated with the investment. By the power of compounding, you may boost your chances of attaining your long-term financial goals by selecting the correct investments. Compound interest is a vital instrument for growing your wealth over time. 
You may achieve your financial objectives and build a more secure future by understanding how it works and making it work for you. Remember to begin early, to be consistent, and to make the appropriate investment. Investing your money to take advantage of the power of compounding interest is a wise financial approach that can help you achieve your financial goals over time. Yet, it's vital to remember that all investments involve some level of risk. It would be best to strike a risk-reward balance corresponding to your investing goals, time horizon, and risk tolerance. Even small amounts can pile up over time and significantly impact your overall financial health if you make consistent contributions. Thus, start early, be consistent, make suitable investments, and leverage the power of compounding interest to develop your wealth and reach your financial goals. Keep in mind that it is never too late to start investing, so begin today to secure your financial future. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And don't forget to check out our other videos for more helpful tips and insights on personal finance, investing, and more. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments below. We love hearing from our viewers and always strive to provide the most relevant and valuable information possible. Until next time, stay informed and stay ahead of the game. Thanks for tuning in.